This is a story that comes from Alaska. Thirst comes with fishermen. He's in boat. It is so cold. There is a lot of fog. He hears music. He hears women singing. He brings his boat closer to the voices. And he can't see very much because there's so much fog, but he can see a little bit. He sees all of these beautiful women standing on a big rock, and they're all singing. And they're so beautiful. Do the women see the fishermen? No. Then each woman goes to the edge of the water and... Take the seal skin. They pull the seal skin on their body and... They jump in the water. So one by one, they go to jump in the water. Say one more in line. And she is very young and very beautiful. What does the fisherman do? He take the last seal skin. Then the young woman, she's looking around. How does she feel? She feels naked. What happened to my skin? What am I going to do? And then she sees the fisherman. She said, give me my skin, please. He says, no. What does he tell her? If you marry me, I will give you a skin. She say, give me my skin. He say, marry me. If you marry me, I will give you a skin after seven years. What can she do? She has no choice. She gets in the boat, he gives her a blanket, and he takes her to his home. And they marry. After a year, they have a baby. They have a son. And the son loves his mother. He loves his father. And he loves the stories they tell him. At night, his father points at the stars and tells him stories about bears, deer, and rabbits. At night, his mother tells him a story. Stories about seal, fish, the ocean, and dolphins. But then the boy notices when he is seven years old, his mother is dying. She's sick. Her eyes are not bright. She can't see. Her hair is falling out. And at night, he hears his father and his mother arguing, yelling at each other. He said, give me my skin. He said, no, you can leave us because you have a son. Another thing she says, you promise. Give me my skin. No. Don't leave my son. Give me my skin. And then the boy hears his mother run outside. And he chases after her. And he can't find her anywhere. He finds himself running to the water. And he trips over something. What is it? The skin. He finds the skin. He picks it up and smells Smells it. it. And they smell like his mother. He takes it home. And there is his mother. She's back. And he gives it to her. And what does she say to him? Thank you. She takes him to the water. She put the skin on. She show him the life underwater. And she says, You can be with me. Under the water. For seven days. He meets her family. And he notices that his mother gets healthy again. Her eyes get bright. She swims freely. After seven days, she says, You have to go back home. If you want to remember me, touch my knife and go. And so he goes back to the land, and his mother was right. If he missed her, all he had to do was touch knife and go. And he felt that she was with him. Now, everybody in the village was amazed that this boy grew up into a young man who became an excellent fisherman. And he always seemed to know just where all the fish were. Sometimes, they said, you could find him at the edge of the water. Talking to seal. And that is the story of the sealskin.